What's up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, I wanna share with you a really cool status dashboard that allows you to update when you are working and busy and can't be interrupted. So this is actually a great way to kind of block out certain work sessions where you maybe are studying, you do a deep work session, or you're filming a video, and you can't be disturbed by anyone, and you can't have them just coming right in halfway through uh, your work session when you're trying to focus. And so this is a simple dashboard that I put together that allows you to simply just share that with people and update it regularly so you can see when that person is busy, um, or you can just share with people when you're busy. And so this is something I actually put together myself using a couple of different services, and I'd love to go through and just show you how I set that up. So the first thing I have it set up to do is just run from a Siri shortcut. So I just tell Siri working, and then it uh, triggers a new Siri shortcut that just asks for a start and end time. Now, unfortunately, you do actually have to put in a specific time, like 2.15, you have to say 2 colon 15 and then PM, and then you have to say 2, 4, 15 PM with the same uh, colon and everything. Unfortunately, that's the, uh, the, the simplest solution I could come up with. Uh, maybe in iOS 14 or something, I'd love to be able to say something like working until four, and then Siri just automatically knows that that's uh, today, it's until 4 p.m. Um, from the current time that I triggered the, the shortcut. But that's the easiest thing I could set up, and that's the most work you actually have to do uh, when you're creating a new work session. So what that actually does is it creates a new event on a Google Calendar, and then that syncs with uh, the, my Google account uh, with a zap that I have set up in Zapier. Now Zapier is the only um, part of this process that is paid. We're on a pro account just because we want it to be updated quickly and we want it to um, you know, be able to add multiple accounts and I think a couple other features that they include for premium plans. But if you don't wanna spend any money, you actually can use Zapier for free. But I also had this working uh, with If This Then That and it worked really well. It actually worked just as fast as Zapier. And so I've set up a couple of different triggers so that when a new event is added or when a new event is updated, it actually syncs with a Google spreadsheet. Now I have a couple different triggers as well, but I'll get into that later. And so that information is passed on to a Google spreadsheet, like I said, and then that spreadsheet is actually embedded a couple different uh, times inside of an HTML website. So there's a couple of different layers, but the end result is actually um, really pretty and it allows you to customize a bunch of different widgets and, and move stuff around as much as you want. Now, as you can see on the website, I've added in a bunch of different widgets. So I've got the time, the date, the weather, um, and then we also have at the bottom kind of a little calendar showing when um, our next guest is arriving. So this again is why we added a couple of accounts. Um, we're using a separate calendar just for guests in our house. Um, so whenever uh, anyone's coming over, we just create a new event and then it'll pull in that information. Now you'll see that it doesn't show a name, it just shows a time and date because I thought it was a little weird if we just put up um, someone's name and then you walk in and you see that that's plastered in all over our wall. <laughs> and so it's a little weird, but we just pulled in that information just for some privacy. Um, but of course you could customize this however you want. Now, like I said, I've built this as a simple HTML site and I just set that up on one of my uh, domains. And then we pointed an old iPad to that and we actually just mounted that iPad on the wall in our kitchen. Now, this is actually the culmination of about a week and a half of work. It definitely won't take you that long and it wouldn't take me that long um, if I had to do it again because now I know what I'm doing and how I actually want it set up. So what I would love to do is actually give this away as a free template to you guys and you can check out the link below and I'll put all the other links to the services I'm using in there as well. So check that out after the video. But I can break down exactly how I have this set up um, kind of as a mini tutorial if you choose to download that template just so you know how everything is set up. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So this all starts with a series shortcut and the way I've set that up is um, by just using the trigger word working. So I just hold down Siri, I say that, and it pops up the shortcut. You can have that say whatever you want. And then I just say uh, from date to a, another date, and you say ask each time. And then um, you can actually select which calendar you want that to sync with. You can add other information like the location or whatever you want. Um, but it's key that you add it to that specific calendar, um, and then you connect that same calendar when you get to Zapier. So if I just run it here, I'll say from 2.15 p.m., and again, you have to put that colon and that uh, PM, and then you just have to say 
uh, your end time in the same way. And then if we hop over to my calendar, you'll actually see that it's created a new session called working. Now, if we take a look at my Zapier, you'll see I have it set to any new or updated event. I have that set to uh, my specific account, and then I have the calendar I'm pulling in from, and then um, you just test that. Obviously it's working. And then one key action here is you have to add this delay until. And so you say delay by Zapier until, and you say customize time, and you say the uh, start time of the event. You wanna delay it until then. This is because there is an issue where if you just create any new event um, and you sync it to your calendar, it'll instantly say working, whether that's um, it actually starting now or if it's starting in two weeks from now, it will automatically just go and update the dashboard to say that you're working. So this is obviously not accurate. So you just wanna make sure you add that delay until the actual start time of the event before it changes from free until working. And then we go into the spreadsheet and we just select um, update spreadsheet row. You can select your account and where the spreadsheet is and then you uh, choose the specific worksheet that you want. Now I'm using this with my dad and so we have a couple different people using this. So we just decided to create a separate spreadsheet um, or rather worksheet inside the spreadsheet for each person. I tried having them all in one, but um, because we're using iframes to embed it on the HTML site, it got very difficult to style and there are just some weird issues. So the easiest thing to do is just create a um, separate worksheet for each person. So you connect that there, you select the row, which is two because the first is headings. And these are the two, um, the cells that we have to update. So it pulls in those that first row as titles. So Luke status is automatically row one. And so is until, um, and then we just put the status and you can manually type in working. Um, you could change this to anything. You could say recording, studying, do not disturb, whatever you want. Um, it's just editable text. And then until you just put the end time and you can say pretty so it comes out uh, looking like 8.30 p.m. not some weird uh, date as well or 2020, obviously you know what year it is. So you don't need to put all that extra information. Now that's the basic idea for Zapier. We've added a couple of other zaps for things like recurring events. So if there's like a weekly team meeting or you have a class two or three times a week, every week, um, you don't wanna have to manually add that every day. And so we've had that set up to kind of trigger and not overwrite the other one. So it can get a little complicated, but you can dive in and set it up for however you need. And this is the spreadsheet. It's pretty simple as you could probably imagine. Um, I just have at the bottom uh, my works, uh, worksheet for me and it's we've got Luke status. And so this just connects in as you saw it on Zapier. We have one for uh, my dad. And so you could have as many people as you want here. And then we have the new information for if a guest is arriving, just that date and time separated like that. Now the final step is just pulling that in on the HTML site. And this is where if you don't know any code, it can get very overwhelming. Um, but again, I'm giving away this template. So hopefully there's not much you actually have to do yourself. You're just kind of plugging in the specific information um, that you need. And so the, the real big parts uh, that you're gonna customize is the actual uh, iframe itself because you need to point it to the correct spreadsheet, but you don't need to go and paste in this whole new link and code. Usually you just have to update the actual spreadsheet ID. And so you can look that up um, for your specific spreadsheet and just replace that there. Um, and honestly, the rest should be the same. Um, if you're using multiple sheets, one thing to look out for is this GID that actually points it to the, the right worksheet. So if you have multiple people, you'll see that that changes down here for the next person. But most of it's the same and it's just kind of um, pulling in the same link for uh, every time, but it's pulling it in separately so that you can customize it, um, not just bringing in this one big block of text. Um, at the top here, we've got that information for the um, for the temperature and that stuff. And so you can jump into the JavaScript and get into that. I'll probably put, end up putting a little guide in the download um, that just points to each um, piece that you need to update. So I'll put that in there to help you guys out. Obviously you'll swap out the image um, for the avatar. I'm just, I just pulled in our Memojis because I wanted something a little different or and interesting. Um, but one thing again to keep note of is that the styling um, is actually being pulled from the Google spreadsheet for the free and the until text. So you can't adjust the color or the font or the size or anything once you get into the HTML site because you're embedding an iframe. You're embedding essentially another website into your website. 
So any styling you wanna make, make sure you do that in the spreadsheet. I actually have this set up to, um, with some conditional formatting. So when you type in working, it automatically switches to red, um, just so that if you're across the room, you could quickly see how, um, uh, you know, the color and just see if someone's busy. So that's kind of the gist of the website. We've been using this for about two weeks and we've really enjoyed having it, especially things like the date and time and the weather. Um, it's just cool information to have um, just right there in the kitchen. And what we did is we took that old iPad and we mounted it on the wall with this cool accessory from Amazon, which I'll link down below. It comes with a, uh, a guide that you just tape onto the wall with all the different measurements for any iPad size for Pro, Air, Mini, regular, whatever. Um, they have all of them and then you just drill straight into the holes so you don't have to measure anything or you know calculate anything. It's really simple. It took us like five minutes, I think, to put up. Now, if you don't have an old device lying around or you don't want to spend any money, you could easily still use this by just sending the link out to people wherever you have that hosted. And that's why I went the extra step of choosing to have this on a domain and not just on a static spreadsheet because it looks a lot prettier and it's an easy link to share with people. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.